Chuck Berry, fans queue to pay their last respects. Fans in the U.S. state of Missouri have been paying their final respects to the rock and roll legend Chuck Berry who died last month aged 90. They were allowed to view the performer's body at the pageant club in St. Louis before a private family funeral on Sunday. As fans filed past the open coffin a musician played some of Chuck Berry's greatest hits. The guitarist and songwriter died in Missouri after a seven-decade career. Among those paying tribute to the musician on Sunday was Kiss rocker Gene Simmons. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton sent letter lauding one of America's greatest rock and roll pioneers. He captivated audiences around the world, the letter said, and his music spoke to the hopes and dreams we all had in common. Me and Hillary grew up listening to him. Barry played at both of Bill Clinton's presidential inaugurations. As the private service for Barry began, the Reverend Alex Peterson told the crowd that the aim of the day was to celebrate Barry in a rock and roll style. We're not going to sit here and be sad, Mr. Peterson was quoted by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch as saying. As fans earlier filed past the open coffin, which had a red Gibson guitar bolted to the lid, a musician played some of the Dead Star's most memorable compositions, including Johnny B. Good. Sweet Little Sixteen, and Roll Over Beethoven. Among the floral arrangements was one in the shape of a guitar sent by the Rolling Stones. Seen as one of the fathers of rock and roll, Barry influenced generations of succeeding musicians, most notably the Beatles, the Rolling Stones and the Beach Boys. Barry was known for trademark four-bar guitar introductions and quick-fire lyrics that reflected the rebelliousness of 1950s teenagers. He received a Lifetime Achievement Grammy in 1984 and was among the first inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986. Barry was born in St. Louis, Missouri, in 1926, and had his first hit, Maybelline, in 1955. He went on to score a succession of hits that were aimed at adolescent audiences, transcending the color bar that plagued many black artists of his generation. Follow BBC. Come, come. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe SH channel. Goodbye and see you again. You again.